So here's a quick breakdown on how to create and organize YouTube playlists. This is going to be great for if you just want to do some music listening. It's also going to be great for if you want to grow your YouTube channel. It's going to help you get more views, more watch time, and more subscribers. This is the Sco Show. I'm Alex Sco. I created this YouTube channel just to share information about how to sell crap online, how to create and build online businesses, do online sales and online marketing. And since we're talking about playlists, I've got several playlists on this channel for how to do those sorts of things. If you're looking to grow a YouTube channel, definitely make sure and check out my playlist on how to grow a YouTube channel. So some reasons why you want to create playlists, say as a viewer, if you're just someone who just watches YouTube videos, then it's gonna be great for, you know, like I mentioned in the intro, if you want to create a playlist just for music listening or a playlist of your favorite videos that you can easily come back to and reference, not have to dig around and search for them. And then if you're a content creator, a YouTuber, someone that's trying to grow a channel, you definitely need and want to be creating playlists. It's going to help organize your content for your viewers, <clears throat> especially if you have uh, several different topics on your channel like mine for example I've got several different topics on my channel which is why I've created one of the reasons why I've created playlists is because I know it can be confusing and just annoying to go into my video section and scroll through videos trying to find one that you're looking for so I've created playlists where you can easily navigate to all the videos uh, under this specific topic that you're looking for and then also what playlists are going to do uh, because you're making it easier for your viewers to find and watch your videos, they're not going to watch one because they're in a list. They'll watch two, three, four, five, six, however many videos. And that's what's going to lead to more views, more watch time, and more subscribers. And if you're monetized, which hopefully you are, if you're not, and if you are, because I've got some tips for how to make more off of your YouTube ads, just make sure and check out my YouTube playlist on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. So first things first, you're gonna to need to make sure that you're signed into a Google account, your YouTube account, and the playlists are going to save to that account. So to access those playlists again, you'll need to make sure that you sign back in, that you're signed back into that same account. Uh, if you're not, you'll get a little error message like this that says, want to watch this again later, sign in to add this video to a playlist. So make sure you're signed in. And now YouTube is actually going to give us a bunch of different ways that we can create a new playlist. So the first one right here, let's if, let's just say we're on my channel. If I click on this YouTube video, let's say we wanna add that one, the three little dots right here, and then click save to playlist. If we look down here at the bottom, we can create new playlist. I've already got some in here, but you can create a new one right here give it a name and choose its privacy, whether you want it to be public, unlisted, or private. And then if you're actually in the video, on the video watch page, and if you click this uh, add button, the three lines and the plus sign right there, same thing, it'll give you that same pop-up. You can click create playlist and create a new one. And then if you want to go inside of your YouTube analytics, you're inside YouTube studio, there's a couple different ways you can create new playlists in here. First, if you just go to videos, and then if you click on one of your videos, and then click add to playlist, you can down at the bottom, click new playlist and create a new playlist. And that video will automatically be added to that playlist when you create it. You can also click the playlist button, or the, in the left column right here, the playlist tab, I guess. Give that a click, it'll open up a new window. And then if you click this box right here, the new playlist box, you can create a new playlist title and then you'll have to add in videos from there which I'm gonna show you how to do in just a second. And then if you go to the old YouTube Creator Studio Classic, you can also do this from in there. So under Video Manager, if you click on Playlists and then right here, click the new playlist box, you can add one right there. So I'm just gonna create a playlist from this video here by clicking the plus sign, create new playlist. I'm gonna call this Test Playlist. Uh, I'm gonna make it private just because it's not a real playlist. I'm going to click create. And then if I come over here to my playlist section and refresh it, we should see my test playlist in there now. So now I'm going to click in the playlist to edit it and show you a couple things in here. And by the way, when you are editing your playlist, when you're setting up your playlist, do know that your playlists are searchable. So you should optimize them for search, meaning that right here in your title and in your description, you want to optimize them around keywords that you, for which you'd want to be sh showing up in search. So uh, watch, let's see if we go back and take a look at, let's take my Facebook advertising video, for example. Now to be 
fair here. I haven't slammed these. I haven't packed these with keywords, but I did come in here and throw them in there quickly. So like my, I called it Facebook advertising, and then I've got Facebook ads tips, tips, <laughs> tips, tricks, and strategies, tutorials for your small business. So there's some keywords that I'm putting in there. And just to show you that playlists are searchable, if I search YouTube growth playlist, you'll see that my YouTube growth and monetization playlist pops up right here. And this is in an incognito tab, so it's not based off of any of my previous search history or anything. If you want to add videos from here, you want to click these three dots, click on playlist settings, click on advanced settings. It might give you this pop-up. I'm going to come back to this in a second and explain this to you, but just click cancel for now. And now on this page, you can click add videos over here on the right. And then right here, you can search out the video you want to add. You can throw in its URL if you have that or you can click this and go to your YouTube videos and it'll pull up the list of all your videos and you can select them and click add and add them to the playlist. So let me actually add one. Let's add this one right here. Okay, so now I've got these two videos. I'm gonna come back to this again in a second. So now I've got these two videos. If you hover over them, you can remove them by clicking the X. If you click the more, you'll be able to move them up or down. You can add edit notes and you can set one as the playlist thumb thumbnail. You can also rearrange them by using these over here. So here's a couple of other ways you can add videos to your playlist. I'm going to go back to my YouTube studio and I'm going to go into my video section. You click on any video or multiple videos. Right here you can click add to playlist and you can add to any of the playlists that you've created. From the video watch page you can click the three bars and the plus and same thing. You can add to a playlist from there. You can also deselect it. You can remove it from a playlist by deselecting the check mark. Another way you can add to your playlist, and this is my preferred way to do it actually, is when you upload a video. In the details section right here, if you just scroll down, it'll have this playlist section, and then you can just select the playlist that you want to drop it right into. Okay, I said we'd talk about that box that popped up, so let's do that now. So let's navigate back to my playlist. I'm gonna do that just from here inside of YouTube Studio. Click on playlists, and then I'm going to click edit playlist, and then I'm going to click the three dots and click playlist settings. So the first two options it's gonna give us here are allow embedding and add new videos to top of playlist. Uh, that again that's just gonna be up to you that's your preference but before you make a decision on if you want to add new videos to top playlists or not let's check out the advanced settings because that's gonna give us a little, some more options all right this box right here is what we want to look at so playlist privacy again you can change that in here but the ordering I think is actually pretty important how you choose to order your playlist and so you want to give that some, some thought and pick whichever option you think is best so these are the different options here date added newest date added oldest most popular date published newest date published oldest so if you upload say a series of videos in order you can choose date published whether newest or oldest to keep those in the order that you want you can sort by most popular so that the most popular videos in your playlist will be sitting at the top of it um, also you can do it by date added and then if you want to manually move them and place them wherever you want you can do that right there and then add new videos to play to top playlist you can select that but if you select that then these ones won't work for you. You can only do that with a manual. And then this set as official series for this playlist option is pretty cool. I haven't actually used this quite yet, but I will at some point and I'm excited to do so. It says use the setting for sets of videos uploaded to your channel as part of, as part of an official series. A video cannot an appear cannot appear in more than one series playlist. YouTube may use information to modify how the videos are presented or discovered. Uh, so, like I said, this is a way to create an official playlist. A video cannot exist. If it's in an official playlist, it can't exist in other playlists as well. But videos can exist in multiple playlists if they're not in an official playlist. To, give, to show you what an official playlist means, what that looks like, if we look at this right here, see how it says Team 10 Uncut. I apologize for using a Jake Paul example here, but it's like the only one I could think of quickly off the top of my head that I could remember seeing as an official series. So I, I, that's what that looks like. This auto add option right here is super nice. You can set certain rules so that when you upload a video that meets those rules, it automatically gets added to a playlist. So right here, if your title contains, you can type in whatever right there. So I could say any of my titles that contain Facebook ads, automatically those videos will get dropped into my Facebook ads play, well, actually it would be this test playlist, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, you can do the same thing with the description and with the tag, and you can add multiple rules if you want. So that makes it fast, and you don't have to think about adding it to a playlist at all. And once you have a playlist or several playlists set up, you want to add them to your channel homepage. 
So let's go to my channel homepage. So up here at the top, I have my most recent uploads playlist and then my Facebook ads playlist, YouTube, Amazon, Instagram, ways to make money, Kickstarter, product reviews. And so that's how I have my playlist organized. As you can see right here, there's all of them again. And the way you can set up your playlist here on this homepage is by clicking customize channel. And then if I scroll down, I've got to scroll down a ways because I've got playlists already added. So this will most likely be, you probably won't have to scroll down as much, but you click add section and then you can select the content. And right here you'll want to select playlist. And then you'd pick one of these options here. So if I wanted to have a row of all of my playlists, I could click that one right there. And there's a row of all of my playlists, which uh, I actually might want to do. So I'm going to leave that for a second. Uh, let's add another section. If you want to add a row or a column of just one of your playlists, then you'd want to select a single playlist. So like I can select my uh, Facebook ads playlist right here. And if I want it to be a, a column instead of a row, I just change that right there. And now I can click done. And now that's been added right there. So that's how you can customize. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove it like that. That's how you customize playlists on your channel homepage. Okay, and then lastly, you can do all of this on your phone. If you have the YouTube Studio app, which is where you can see your analytics for your YouTube channel, uh, you can edit and delete your playlist, but you cannot create new playlists inside of your YouTube Studio app. But if you're signed into your channel in the regular YouTube app, you can create new playlists and edit and delete playlists as well. Appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel, giving the video a thumbs up, asking me questions in the comments, and checking out my playlists.